Hello, my spoopy spoopy friends, and welcome back to another episode of the week of spoopy spoopy spoopy. So today we are playing Finger Bones. This is apparently a narrative-driven horror game. So available for free on Steam. It looked kind of interesting, so I thought I'd give it a try. Basically, you're stuck in an old building, and you gotta find out why. It's kind of a nice little Minecraft feel to it. I haven't played Minecraft in a little bit. So, yeah. Let's go clicking on stuff. Lights. Dark. I wish I could run. That'd be a nice feature. So what we got here? We have a couple knives. And a note. It is my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help either. Because I'm not depressed, I am enlightened. This is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. It's the price of knowledge. Well then. So from what I read on the notes, he's apparently since developed two more games of a similar nature and I have a flashlight. I see into the darkness. There are supposedly improvements. I think he's on working on the third, the dev is. It appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop more yeah, pop more morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on ra rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Well, anything else I can click on? Is that a weird sign? So this guy went all sciencey. Is that supposed to be like a uh, keyboard? Huh. What's this? When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday. Yesterday night in the cellar. Ooh. Somebody did something in the cellar. That's not good. Can I leave now? We'll ignore that. Apparently I'm still recording, that's good. Let me try this again. Think about it. <laughs> so, boop. Alright, so we know what we need to click on here. We need to click on this. Boop, boop. There's another one around here somewhere, wasn't it? Yeah. We need the flashlight. We need this. And we need to go over here. We don't need to click on that. That's a bad idea. Hopefully we can open it up now. Nope. We can push this button. That is very loud. So what do we do? Can't climb up on it. Can't interact with it in any other manner. Can I click on this? That's too high. It certainly did a thing. Can I play with this? No. Oh! Oh! I can click on this now. What does that do? What does that do? I don't understand. 
what was the daughter's name? Maybe that's what it was. Haiti. Was that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm assuming that must open this door. Yes! Yes, it did! So... We can go here. Any more notes? It finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settles, we will be wild animals again. I'm ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. She is probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie is here when it was here when it started. And I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Well. That escalated quickly. So Katie and her... Dad? Yeah, must be. I uh, have survived an apocalypse of some sort. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that weren't for scientific education. Edification, sorry. I like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just pile them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ru ruin them anyways. Well. Oh, there's one over here. Sneaky. Oh, that's a crying kid. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. What? So what do I need to push? I read all the things. Is there anything back up this way I can do? Maybe I just have to go back and type tool or lid. That seems to have worked. La 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 la. The method of moving a little quicker would be nice. Oh, wall. <laughs> Pretty light. Yeah. So, everything looks good. It's a little dusty in here. She remembers- she remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures. We're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the generator goes out again. And it breaks up or... And it helps break up the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Well, it's a bit of a douche. Completely ignores the fact that creativity is needed, even in science. There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reasons to- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. I changed the storage room to code to something I can e easily remember. And then why? Bunny, bunny. Sunny? Nope. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. So maybe something scientific related? And in why? Oh my god. Lynn, backwards. Duh. There's 
not super scary. At least in the sense I was expecting. I'm a bag of DNA. I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial walls to live by. Because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes, dreams, love, opinions, desire, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last man on Earth for all I know, ready to, to be freed of them. That was a button. It did buttony things. Oh yeah, the thing, the uh, down here. A DNA, animal, freedom. Honestly, don't know, guys. Let me let me look some stuff up real quick. All right, yeah, it was a stupid and obvious one. It was freedom. I even said it earlier, and I just didn't type it all the way in. Did that work? Yeah, I did. I just didn't hear it because I was busy talking. So that's the only spoiler I'm gonna read. Cause I had a dumb. I can't believe I didn't even. So here we are. To the lower level. There's only enough food for one, so she's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took all of humanity for me to find freedom. That poor girl. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods, her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testaments to moral and intellectual freedom are locked in the upstairs safe. I am content in the knowledge that I have done nothing wrong. Wow. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. God damn, that was a creepy as fuck game. And we're out. Well, anyways, guys, I, uh, hope you enjoyed that somewhat story, or distor disturbing words. Story? I was, took a couple turns I wasn't quite expecting. So, uh, yeah. And there you go. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. As always, likes, comments, they help my channel out, and I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye!